Trench Mudder is now Trench Challenge. In a press con today, Guam's premier obstacle course race announcing its rebranding and event calendar for 2017. And some pretty big news. Trench Challenge is now an official qualifier for the obstacle course race World Championships held in Canada this year, which means that you can expect the course at Trench Challenge to level up. Yeah, definitely. It's going to step it up uh, a notch. We, we've, we're going to try to adopt some of the uh, obstacles that they do run in their own event so we could uh, get our guys prepared uh, for it. This means Trench Challenge will now be listed alongside some of the top obstacle course races in the world like Spartan Race, Warrior Dash, and Raw Challenge in Australia. And since qualifying for the OCR Worlds is the only way you can enter this race, expect some stiff competition come Trench Challenge in August. Online registration starts January 20th with the lead division racers having the chance to qualify for the OCR Worlds and there will be many divisions for competitors of all levels. And remember, all finishers get a Heineken Light and a Hoffa Loa Dry Fit. Also announced today, Trench Kids, Guam's first kids obstacle race held in April. We're going to have up to about 10 obstacles, man-made obstacles, and then you have the natural terrain of the dirt bike course. So uh, it'll be fun and challenging at the same time. Um, it'll be also uh, viewable for all the parents watching. And uh, for, the younger, for the younger divisions, we're allowing chaperones or their parents to go out with them and help them out along the way. For more information on registration for these events and special registration deals, visit TrenchEvents.com and keep watching KUAM Sports. Guam's 12 and under baseball team finished with a silver medal in the 12U Oceania tournament held at Guerrero Field. Guam started the tournament off with a loss to Australia 10-9 in extra innings and then improved a 1-1 in the tournament after they picked up a big win over American Samoa 16-1. Our boys followed up with another win over American Samoa, taking advantage of throwing errors committed by the Samoan team. Guam continued to ball hard on both ends of the ball, running hard on the bases and connecting with their sticks at the plate to build an early lead. In the final game of the tournament, Team Guam fell to the Australian team 18-0, unable to get anything going on their trips to the plate. Australia's pitchers had good command on their balls and cruised to the shutout. With the win, the Aussies will now be heading to the World Cup in Taiwan. FSAG basketball playoffs from the Estumbo Gym, Sang Brothers, and the Senator Dennis Rodriguez team meeting up at the Monopco Division. Ray Patuk with two of his game-high 19 points. Sang Brothers' Roy Bacala with the pass from Bill Napatee pulls up Drano. All net. Sang Brothers with possession again. This time they feed Ramon Calera inside the paint. Pump fake Mullard by Calera. Then he hits the shot at the free throw line for two. Step in three, three dollar bill. It's money by Albert Sanga. He finished the game with 18 points. Bill Napati assisting Ramon Calera on the basket. Calera hit for a team high 18. Albert Sanga pushing the pace on the break. Sanga drives and finds Ed Dimiyak Yak Yak Yak. Open baseline for the finish off the backboard. Sanga drives again and passes the ball out to Pizza, who gives it right back to Sanga for the shot off the glass. Sang Brothers edged out the Rodriguez team 56 55. Close one. Biba Manomku. Edgar Nonessa with the long two here in the win. The football news big shout out to Tyson Vita for representing Guam out in Cali. Tyson selected as a defensive back to play in the U.S. under 15 select team at the ATT Stadium. He's the son of Sonny Vita, a former Howells Angels and JFK football player. Tyson will be participating in the International Bowl 8. Joining the likes of Jameis Winston, Todd Gurley, Tyran Matthew, and other U.S. national team alumni. Guam Sports Events, Inc. Named the local event ambassadors of this year's United Airlines Guam Marathon. Menami Ijima, Ria Macaluso, Derek Mandel, and Leo Tekel have been named as our first local event ambassadors of the United Airlines Guam Marathon. According to Ben Ferguson, Managing Director of GSE, these dedicated and experienced runners have graciously been sharing some valuable running tips through the UGM monthly e-newsletter. The individuals are ideal representatives for our event because they are so giving of their time, and each one has a keen interest in promoting running from both a competitive and a wellness standpoint.